the internet and particularly the web is a great tool for communication and for collaboration. Perhaps one of the best examples of online collaboration is the wiki. A wiki is simply a website that anyone who can access can also edit. I imagine you're immediately thinking of the best example, Wikipedia, this amazing global crowdsourced encyclopedia. Um, not quite the sum total of all human knowledge, but rapidly approaching that sort of limit. There are plenty of other examples of wikis too. So have a look at simple.wikipedia.org for a version of Wikipedia written in a simple version of English. That's often going to be one which is much more accessible for your pupils. You can also create your own private wiki. A wiki doesn't have to be shared with the global population of everybody connected to the internet. You could create a wiki for your class, perhaps just to do book reviews, or a wiki for your whole school. Creating wiki is a relatively straightforward process. You sign up for an account on a wiki website and start simply adding content into the wiki. You're creating web pages as you go. On each of the web pages that make up a wiki, you'll find an edit button. Clicking on that button will take you into another view of the page, where the content of the page becomes something which is editable. You'll have typically the sort of usual editing, formatting buttons at the top of that view and then the content of the page there. In old wiki systems, that will be using a markup language, but these days most wikis allow you to do that with the tools that you'll be familiar with from a word processor of changing fonts and adding emphasis and so on. At the bottom of that page, typically you'll find a save button. Click on that save button and then the content of the wiki will be updated. As I say, anybody who's got access to that content can edit that content. That can be your pupils, that can be your colleagues at school, or in the case of Wikipedia, it is anybody with an internet connection. Sometimes that, of course, can lead to problems, that not everybody on the internet is somebody we'd necessarily want editing content that we're relying on. So it's useful to use some of the other tabs that are available at the top of a wiki page. Clicking on the History tab will show you the changes that have taken place to that page. And you can compare two versions of the page. Compare the current version with what the page looked like a year ago. See how that page has changed. Sometimes you might find that a wiki page has been graffitied by somebody behaving in a really antisocial way. But don't worry, there's a revert button available there where you can simply go back to an earlier version of the wiki page before that vandalism took place. Clicking the revert button will bring back the earlier content of the page. On some wikis, there are topics which people will reasonably disagree with. Often there'll be a discussion page, sometimes labeled talk, running alongside the main content wiki where the users, the contributors to the wiki, are debating amongst themselves what is the version of the page that we can all agree to. Wikipedia in particular prides itself on establishing a neutral point of view. And if you're going to use a wiki, a private wiki with your class to debate controversial issues, you might on occasion need pupils to have that discussion about what is something that we can all agree to here.